to Kids for Truth, where we're exploring the big truths about God. Hey, do you keep any Play-Doh around your house? I actually keep some on my desk here in my office, and today I made uh, this masterpiece, this uh, Play-Doh Pete, you might call him. And uh, because I made him, I got to make him unique. Now, I'm no master sculptor, but but again, because I made him, I got to put a little hat on him and make him a little bit unique the way I wanted to. Well, today we're going to talk about the master artist, the master sculptor. Did you know that God formed you? Kind of like I formed uh, Plato Pete here. God formed you, not in a Plato, of course, but he formed Adam. He formed man out of clay, out of the ground. And because God designed Adam, God created him unique, just the way he wanted him to be. And God has made you unique, just the way he wanted you to be. Well, let's look at God's word as we explore this truth together. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, the Bible says this, Then the Lord God formed the man of dust, that's Adam, from the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. So in Genesis 1, remember, we're told about God creating the entire universe by just the word of his mouth. He just spoke it into existence. Out of nothing, he brought everything that is. But in Genesis chapter 2, we kind of zoom in on God's creation of man, and we find out that God didn't just speak Adam into existence. He formed him. Out of what? out of the soil, out of the dust of the ground, out of dirt, right? And even though he made him out of dirt, God made him perfectly and wonderfully designed just the way he wanted. Did you know that our bodies show that God designed us wonderfully and perfectly? Our bodies show that we have a designer. Consider just a couple facts. Did you know that at any given moment, you have 2.5 trillion red blood cells teeming through your body. Did you know that your eyes can see up to 10 million different colors and your eyes can take in more information than the most powerful telescope ever invented? Did you know your nose can detect almost one trillion smells? Yeah, we show, our bodies show that we have a designer. Every part of our body shows God's good and wise design. The chances that the human body just happened by chance are so remote, they're just impossible, right? We would not exist if God had not formed Adam out of the dust of the ground. Well, think about this, this pen right here. This is a pretty simple object. There's just a few parts to it, but what if I took some of those parts apart, if I took the pen apart, and I took these four parts. What if I took these four parts and put them in a clothes dryer, and I turned the dryer on for an hour? Do you think I would open that dryer and find this pen reassembled? Well, what if I left the dryer on for a year, or for 10 years, or, or 100, or a million, or a billion, a trillion years? right? This pen would still not be reassembled. It would take an intelligent creator, an intelligent um, person to reassemble this. It wouldn't just happen by chance. Well, our bodies are much more complex than this pen. And it is impossible that given enough time and given enough chance, we would be assembled, right? Our bodies are proof that God is our wise sculptor, our wise artist, the good creator. But there's something else that Genesis 2 tells us. Not only did God give Adam and all of us bodies, but he also gave us souls. It says that he breathed into Adam the breath of life and Adam became a living soul. Now the soul is that part of us that we can't see. It's immaterial without a body. And it's that part of us that doesn't die. It's the part of us that can 
know and understand and love God. And so in this fact, the fact that we have souls, we're different than every other living creature on the earth. No other creature, not even animals, have a soul or spirit that can know and love God, a part of them that never dies. So today, you can know that God loves you enough to form you uniquely, just the way he wanted you to be, to be the boy he wanted you to be or to be the girl he wanted you to be. He doesn't make mistakes. The psalm says you are wonderfully made. And he also loves you enough to give you a soul a part of you that could know and love God and could be with him forever. And one day, because of the resurrection, even after our bodies die, our souls will be reunited with a real physical but spiritual body that will live forever. Just like Jesus was raised from the dead, we will be raised from the dead. We will have souls and bodies in the new heavens and the new earth forever. What a wonderful thought. God is the good designer. Well, thanks for joining us for this Kids for Truth time. Hope you have a great week and a very happy Easter. Mm -hmm.